In this section, we're going to look at how you can scale BGP in the ISP backbone, so inside IBGP. So in using communities for IBGP, the ISPs are going to tag prefixes learned from their BGP and their static customers with different communities to do different things. So for example, they would like to identify services that the customer may have purchased, or you want to identify prefixes which are part of the ISPs provider assigned space, PA space, or to identify the customer's PI addresses, provider independent addresses that they might have got from their regional internet registry. Or you want to control prefix distribution into IBGP. Or you want to control the prefix announcements to customers and upstreams and several other reasons. So for service identification, what the ISP is going to provide is transit via upstreams, uh, connectivity to major IXPs and connectivity to private peers or to customers. Now the customer can choose to buy all or any of the above access options and each option would be identified with a unique community. Then the ISP identifies where the address space from the customer comes from their provider assigned block or is their customer's own provider independent space. And you'll have one community for the provider assigned block and one community for the provider independent space. So this slide shows the typical community definitions and we are assuming that we are in AS100. So 1000 would be the aggregates out of AS100. 1001 would be the sub prefixes that come out of the AS100 aggregate. Then 1005, for example, could be the static customer PI space, provider independent space. Then 2000 could be customers who get transit. 2100 could be customers who get access to the IXP. 2,200 could be customers who get BGP customer access. This is routes which are announced by other BGP customers. Then all routes learned from the IXP could be tagged with 3,000. And this is how you could implement it in Cisco IOS. You have a community list 10 for to match um, the aggregates, which is 100 colon 1,000. 11 for 1,001, 12 for 1,005, which is a customer static PA space, all the way down to 16, which is for the 3000 community, which is roots learned from the IXP. Inside AS100, you have a sample, just a little bit of a BGP session, and you see you have router BGP100 on the slide, and you're redistributing static routes using a particular route map, static to BGP. Note that this is an advanced configuration and typically we would not redistribute statics into BGP. Um, however, for this use case, um, because you have lots of customers who have static routes that you'd like to announce, then um, with control redistribution, it makes it okay. So you first need a prefix block that is going to match which statics are permitted to redistribute into BGP. And so the first thing that you do is have the aggregate and then say, I'm going to have an IP prefix list S100 block permit 100.64.0.0. It's a slash 19 all the way to a slash 32. So any prefix out of this block will be redistributed. Then for your S100 prefixes, you set the community to 1000, which remember is the aggregate community set. And now for the static to BGP route map that we talked about just earlier, um, you first have a match statement to match the prefix list S100 dash block for the very reason that when you're redistributing statics, you need to be very careful about which prefixes you redistribute. And once you've matched anything out of that block, you set the community to 1001, which means these are static prefixes which come out of the aggregate block. So for permit 20, which you don't have a match command, you set the community to 
uh, 1005, which means these are prefixes from your customers out of their PI space. So the prefix S100 block would need to have all the address space that S100 uses. In this case, it's just a single slash 19, but if S100 had other address space, you'd need to add it as well to this prefix list.